and welcome to this video. I'm Omar and today I will show you how you can transform a Microsoft Word document into an interactive and dynamic Microsoft Sway web page. This option is only available if you are subscribed to Microsoft Office 365. So let's see how we can do that. So here I have this Word document talking about this one. And I want to transform this document into a Sway web page. So in order to do that, I will go into File. And from here, I will go into Transform. And this window on the right hand side will open to transform my document into a web page. So first of all, I need to choose a style. So as you can see here, I have different styles. Maybe around 15 or 20 styles. And I can choose any one between them. And as you can see here is how it will look like. So sun here and then the text below it. So if we try to click on other one, we will see here how it will look like. So this one, for example, so we have different ones. I think I will go with this one. And I will press transform. And here it will tell me your document will be transformed into Microsoft Sway web page using your work or school account. And it mentions my account here. If you'd rather use a different account, click your name in the upper right corner and go to switch account. So I'm sure I want to transform into Sway using this account. I'll press transform. And here, as you can see, the Sway web page opened on my default browser, which is in my case, Firefox. And as you can see, the document is now transformed into a web page. So here's the sun, and by default, it catches the keywords, which I can click on to get more information. So for example, if I press on hydrogen here, by pressing Ctrl and left click, I will go into page on Wikipedia talking about hydrogen. Same thing if I choose, for example, different thing, G-type main sequence star. You can see here I will get more information about it. So it's not only a web page, but it's an interactive web page. And you can see here the picture of the sun with its layers that was in the document. And now I have it as a web page. And from here in the top, you can do different things. First of all, you can edit. So here you can see you can add a background photo. So let's, for example, add a background photo. You press on add background image. And I will search for sun. So let's say I want to use this one. And I will press add. Here I have text card which contains the info. Here I have the picture that of the sun layers that was in my document. I can add caption for it. For example, layers of the sun. And here's the second text card containing the other text in my document. So I can do different things from here. I can also add bullets. I can change the font. I can do different things. I can hyperlink, create a numbered list. So let's say now everything is fine. I'll press play here. And as you can see, the background image is now the image that we chose of the sun instead of the mountain image. This one fits better with the topic. And as you can see, here is the web page now. 
also from here I can change the autoplay settings so for example make it shorter or longer and press start so you can see it will switch every two seconds depending on the time that I chose I can make it longer to let the reader have more time to read the information and I can also remove the loop continuously and I will make it as manual to scroll up and down I can press stop can go back to the top and from here I can share my Sway web page with other people so if I press on share here is the link I can copy it and send it to people to access this way I can also get a visual link so if I press on it here it's like a thumbnail and I can copy it and put it for example an email and if someone presses on this thumbnail he or she will access this web page from here I can create a new one or duplicate this way or save it also as a template print it export and see the accessibility view and do different things I hope you liked this video on how to transform a word document into a sway interactive web page I think this will be very helpful for you to create nice web page designs you can also use them sometimes in your presentations instead of PowerPoint so if you liked this video give a thumbs up and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to always stay updated about my previous and upcoming videos Thank <laughs> you.